and you know what that means. That's right, it's Thursday, and it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack, and never more appropriate was that title, because today we're doing a sip and snack, and it's in the same item. It is a drink, technically. It's a food, technically. So we're going to be focusing on that today, and let me take you to the picture that you probably know pretty well from this channel, and that is me drinking a frozen lemonade. Now, this is from Halloween Horror Nights 22, which was the first year I went to the event. And of course, the horror story I had with Ben and Teller. Hopefully, down the line, I'm going to get another chance to uh, finally get to meet them. But that's another story for a different day. As a matter of fact, that's another story for a video that exists probably underneath this one. Not in anything like recent, but it's in the Halloween Horror Nights playlist here on the Podcast Network. So... I'm going to uh, talk about frozen beverages, and I've been a big fan throughout my entire life of Slurpees. I've always been a big Slurpee fan, and I used to, when my mom worked at Kmart, I used to have Icy's, and some friends back in the day used to try to get me to have slush puppies. Now, they're all different consistency, even though they're basically frozen beverages, and anybody that tells me otherwise, you're wrong, or basically just saying the fact that they're all different in a different way. Their syrup and frozenness, frozenness is not even a word, but still, when it comes down to it, they're basically the same thing, but they have different consistency, and you can definitely tell the difference between the three. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the third that I just chatted about, and that is the brand of Slush Puppy. And I'm going to tell you right now that this brand was created in 1974 by the Slush Puppy division of J&J Snack Foods, who basically have a monopoly on frozen beverages, as they also have Icy, and they also have Luigi's Italian Ice, and... Yeah, that's it. So, they are also connected to Super Pretzel. So, I don't know why that has to do with anything, but I move forward. Now, basically, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to read from Wikipedia here, because that's what we do here on Sip and Snack. Slush Puppy has two major components, the base and the flavoring. The base is made from special syrup mixed with water and then frozen. This creates a mixture of pellets of ice and a sweet liquid. The taste that you have is your flavored syrup. Now, this has been moved throughout time to be sold, normally gas stations. They also had their own maker you can get at home, obviously. You can get it at stores. You could see it probably in like the Sears catalog or the JCPenney's catalog or the Toys R Us toy guide. Basically is where you can make your own slush puppies. And you have a machine to do so. You crank it out and everything. Now, a while back, they actually brought other products, and that was the fact that they have pouches now. And they had three pouches, one being strawberry, which I don't have today, and the other two, which I do have today, and that are blue raspberry and cherry. Now, these have been frozen in my house uh, fr freezer for quite a while. Got the dog there on the front, the very familiar slush puppy dog. This is the blue raspberry one, and this is the cherry one. It basically has easy directions. It says freeze pouch, squeeze pouch, and last but certainly not least, drink pouch. So let's see what we got here. So we're going to try this. I got my nondescript taster glass here. So let's uh, give this a whirl. So let's try the blue raspberry. We'll pop it open. You can smell the blue raspberry, and it says to freeze pouch, which obviously I did. You can see the frozenness on it, see at the top of the, the hat there for the dog. And you squeeze the pouch, so let's squeeze the pouch, which is going to be fun considering the fact that this thing is frozen solid. And yeah, trying to get this here, and here we go. Trying to crush it down a little bit. Let me drink it now a little bit. I just blue raspberry. It's a little more frozen consistency than I'd like, but basically it's because it's been kind of in there for about a week. Let's shoot. So, <laughs> you can hear it crunching up a little bit. Probably if I could crunch a little bit better. Yeah, which of course I don't have any strength. So, um, this does taste like exactly what slush puppy you would get from a gas station or a place that serves slush puppies would actually have. So, basically, this is a great success. If you do not want to. Go to the store, 
and go to a convenience store that has Slush Puppy and get those, even though they have multiple more flavors than these. You can get your regular flavors if you want to buy them at your grocery store. It's kind of a redundant item, but sometimes you can't find places that have Slush Puppies, and you're not in an area that has, sells Slush Puppies, so this is a uh, reasonable exception here. So when you like, you can put this back on. I can have this later, and I will. Uh, we have cherry, which is about the same except it's cherry. So there's that. Look at that. There's the dog, and then we'll slush, crush this. It's even harder to crush in the thing. I might as well have got a hammer or something. See, it's it's like hard hard as all get out to crush. But there we go. Got a little bit. Of, see, you make that when you hear that crushing sound, you know that. It works. It's a lot better consistency than the blue raspberry. You know, it's the same thing. The flavor syrup is actually letting you crunch better with the frozenness. So let's try this. Smells exactly like a very strong cherry syrup flavor. And the smell is definitely exactly what I remember from Slush Puppies. Even though I was never a Slush Puppy guy when it came to cherry. I always went for like bubble gum, stuff like that. Cola. Cola was always a good one for me. But for some reason, I don't like the... Coca-Cola, like frozen Coke beverages, the freeze frames we sell at work. But the thing is, they're fine. They have to be mixed with soda in order for me to make them work. But these right here, these are designed to be just literally ice and syrup. So let's see what cherry tastes like. Oh, yeah. Strong cherry flavor. Really strong Kool-Aid flavor is basically what it is. Um, now, I'm looking here on the internet, as I do here during Sip and Snack, and I'm seeing that Icy has variants of these, and I'm looking that they have variants in Orange and Fruit Punch. Why couldn't I have done those instead? Probably because I couldn't find them. Um, didn't know they existed until just now, so maybe you'll see them on Sip and Snack down the line. But these are good. If you like Slush Puppy, if you like... Any sort of frozen drink, if you like Slurpees or Icy's, you'll probably like these. But I do want to let you know that the syrup for a slush puppy is a lot more pure, if that makes any sense. I think that might be the difference here. You can definitely tell the taste of an Icy. It's a little bit more watered down. And a Slurpee has a little bit more on the flavoring, but it's not as overpowering. That right there, the slush puppy just hits you... Bam, like that, and that flavor is really, really powerful. So if you don't like heavy syrup, I don't necessarily recommend this. But if you do, and you definitely like the Slush Puppy brand, and you don't have Slush Puppy in your area, like maybe you moved to a place that doesn't have it, and you grew up with Slush Puppy, or you had a craving for a Slush Puppy, go out to your local Publix or Target, Walmart, any sort of place, any sort of grocery store, and look for this item because it's definitely worth having. If you want that slush puppy fix, then it's there and it's in your uh, grocery store. So that's going to end Sip and Snack this week. So I will tell you right now, and to make sure I look at the calendar so I don't promote something that is incorrect, there's one more Sip and Snack that's going to be next week and then the big Sip and Snack that I've been wanting to do for a while, which actually ties into something. That's going to be coming up on two weeks from today. So, uh, actually, I'm going to flip that. Uh, the next one is going to be the one that we are trying to do, been wanting to do for a while. It's actually going to be coming up on next week. And then we're going to do something different for the 31st. So we'll find out what's going on with that. If you want to think about what is going to be done next week, just pay attention to what movies are out in theaters right now. Just a thought. And that will also tie into a Versus that is going to be coming out that Sunday. So it's going to be very uh, heavy on something that is coming out in theaters. Not only will you get the sip and snack on the food items that tie into it, you're going to get the movie review on Friday, and on Sunday you're going to get a Versus that's tied to it. So we're going to be very uh, heavy on it this coming week. You know exactly what I mean, probably without thinking about it. If you like these videos, tell your friends about them, leave a comment, do subscribe, help spread the word about Pop and the Popcast Network. If you haven't yet, just takes a second to uh, click like on our Facebook fan page. It's Sir Owen Disney Pop, and uh, search for Sir Owen Disney and Pop. 
While you're there, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, go over to the other social media and follow me on Twitter. It's at Sorrow and Disney, and you can follow the Podcast Network on Twitter at, at Podcast Network. We have merchandise available, and hopefully we're going to be adding new merch every day. New t-shirts available um, at Zazzle.com backslash Podcast Network. And uh, that's pretty much your video for today. Tomorrow, AJ's Movie Reviews. Oh, this is going to be a doozy. It's going to be Miracles from Heaven and Allegiant. And Saturday, question mark on the video. Sunday, brand new versus a cryptic comet chef. Monday will be the return of Gaiman with Ash. And of course, 11.30 p.m., the Raw Popcast. Wednesday will be the Wednesday Wrestling Popcast at 9.30 p.m. Thursday returns back to Sip and Snack for a special. Friday, yes, it is time. And this is pretty much a blow in the spot here. Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, comes out along with Big Fat Greek, my Big Fat Greek Wedding, too. And that's going to be uh, on the review. So Sunday, you probably know exactly what the verse is going to be. Or do you? So uh, that being said, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.